Hello, thank you for joining me on this lovely spring Sunday morning. I'm walking through the suburbs of Norwich. We're heading to Eaton Park. Today is another episode of Miniature Railway Britain. In today's video, we're going to the Norwich and District Model Engineering Society's Miniature Railway at Eaton Park. Now, it's quite a long walk from the city centre. It's a good two miles, so if you were to come here by train, I would probably suggest you take a bus. There are plenty of buses that head out in this direction, but because it was such a nice morning and I enjoy walking and exploring, I thought I would walk to the railway. I did visit this railway a few years ago, so it is one I have been to before, so I am looking forward to revisiting and seeing it again. The club, I understand, has existed since 1933, I think. So they've been around quite a while. But the railway we're going to see was first set up there in 1956, but it's extended over the years as these railways do. So what we will see today isn't, is quite a lot longer than what would have been there in 1956. That's Freeton Park. Well, that was a park set up by the council of Norwich to give the people of Norwich, you know, somewhere to, in, a bit like I am today really, going and enjoy their Sunday mornings. It's quite a vast park, so we will have a bit of a look around the park. There's also a boating pond, so we might see some model boats as well, which will be a nice addition to the Minutes Railway. So I'm going to continue down this avenue and soon we shall come to Eaton Park. As you can see, there are buses that come up to this part of Norwich, so if you don't want to do the long walk I've just done, you can come here by bus or you can drive. We're at the park now. This is the entrance, I think, to one of the car parks. There's a sign there, tourist sign, says Eaton Park East, which, um, the fact that this is East gives you an idea of the vastness of the park. It's pretty big. Here's the gates into the park, and I believe it's at this end where the miniature railway is. In fact, I think as soon as I can get to let this car come past, the miniature railway is just there. Because I can see a sign, it says um, Norwich District Society of Model Engineers, NDSME, members only. So if we come to here, yeah, but here we are here. Well, here's the racetrack miniature railway. I don't think it's going to be running today because you can see. There's a, a gate in it and it's opened. So we probably won't be having a ride on that, but what we'll do, we'll follow the racetrack miniature railway down and we'll go and find what we can have a ride on. There's a, a map here of the park, so this should give us an idea. Welcome to Eaton Park, Norwich City Council. We're there. So we've got to go past the Rose Garden and it says miniature railway is here. So let's go and have a look at that. So, as I said, there is the racetrack so I think the racetrack doesn't really form part of their public running. I'm not saying it never does, but as we've seen, it's not running today. But there it is. The track goes off down there, so that probably forms a loop, as racetrack lines do. This is the Rose Garden. Quite nice. Uh, so we've kind of, it's sort of um, three rings of different types of trees. You've got a ring of yew, or a yew hedge ring. You've got a ring of holm oaks, which is... Evergreen oak, I think the latter name is Quercus ilex, and in the middle you've got a ring of cherry trees, and they all look really nice when they've blossomed. And you can see the roses. If you were to come here at a different time of year, you might not have the cherry blossom, but you'd have the roses. So I should think that would all look really nice. And then, as I said, behind the new hedge is the racetrack miniature railway. I believe that's the railway they refer to as their heritage track. That's their original railway track. The railway we're going to ride today came later. Now if you have a look behind that tree, um, where those larch trees are, that building looks very much like a railway station. So I think we're getting close. And I can just hear the sound of a diesel engine. So we're, we're definitely not far away. The other interesting thing is, before passenger carrying pleasure railways came to Eaton Park, when Eaton Park was built, they had a railway, a narrow gauge railway, which would have been used by contractors to move you know, equipment around. I'm not too sure whether there was any locos, but I've seen pictures of it. And I've been discovered, I remember this from last time. Look here, this fence post, it's a bit of the old narrow gauge rail. And here's some, by the larch trees, as we come to the racetrack miniature railway, there's a station there called Larch End. So if we were to ride the racetrack miniature railway, we'd catch a train at Larch End. There's a couple of diesel locos 
on their engine shed. Another reason why they're not going to be running the racetrack line is if we have a look, we get to here. Here's the main railway station, this is Parkside, and the ground level track actually runs through the racetrack, so you physically can't run the two together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over there, I'm just going to have a look to see what there is, and then we're going to have a ride on the train. It's the exciting bit. So here's the station just before I get my ticket. There's a diesel loco there called Toad the Tug. There's also a warship, so that'd be quite cool. So um, I expect we'll have a ride behind one of those locos very shortly.
I just had a very enjoyable trip behind this warship locomotive. It's number D828. And she's called Magnificent, and she's a warship class of look. Now, you may notice I have gained a high visibility jacket. The railway has very kindly given me permission to show you around the yards a little bit so we can have a look at some of the other trains that are running. Here goes one of the diesel locos. It's a nice little five inch gauge shunter there. So the railway is seven and a quarter inch, but as you can see from the free lap rails, it is also five inch. There's their steaming bays. There's not actually a steam locomotive running today. There's a, they do quite often run steam locomotives. So there's another diesel locomotive, as in an actual diesel, like the one that's just gone out, which we'll see some more of. Class 66 and another little diesel shunter. Now what we'll do, we'll go over towards where the raised track railway goes and we'll have a little look around. So as I said, we're not gonna obviously ride on the raised track because the ground level track literally cuts it in two. We're gonna walk through here and we go through here so you can see the, the raised track there. So there's that gate. It's quite amusing in a way that that gate opens and lets the, the ground level trains pass through here. There's their engine shed. There's a couple of diesel locos we saw as we went in. That's Larch End Station. So the racetrack line will go off up there and it goes to the loop we saw as we come into the park and then around here. So, um, so the, the line into the engine shed crosses the main line here on the level, on a little diamond crossing. So the main track continues off around there to a tunnel. I think when the ground level track first opened, I think it was 1959, it'd have been a lot smaller circuit, probably only really a circle, not even the longer line that went off, you know, that we saw going way off down there. And then here is where the ground level track once again cuts through the high level track. So that gate would close. There's the tunnel. So the train, we went through the tunnel and then once it's been through the tunnel, it goes out of this area and it crosses a public part of the park. And then they've got a nice little field and cherry orchard, which the railway runs through. So we'll go and have a quick look over there because there was a couple of bits I wanted to show you over there. So if we follow back past the turntable and uh, there's our, our warship loco that we rode behind. So the tunnel, which we passed through, which a moment ago with the other end of, winds its way round to here. It says that the tunnel was built in 2013. I understand the ground level line opened in 2006. Oh, and this, by the way, which we saw on the train, that's where the token is hung up. So there's like a single line token for that section. So this is where the railway at Parkside leaves the park. Now, while there's not a train here, when the trains arrive back at the station, passengers get off at this platform and then the train draws forward to the arrival platforms. and goes an announcement. If you look there, you can see the track used to have more of a curve. So they've altered the track at some point and built it in to make a longer platform. Now, it does say no exit here, but just there it says no exit. But I think that's for passengers. As I've got the high vis I've got permission to have a bit of a walk around. I just always have to, every time, do the obvious thing, check there's no trains coming. So at this point here, the railway line crosses the park. So trains you know we saw that they, they have to blow their horns so any visitors to the park are aware that the train is literally going to cross is that a train i can hear a train in the field section and then it goes yeah so a train now is just coming out a diesel train is just coming out i think what they do they have to slow right down possibly stop make sure there really is no one about so as you can see he's running quite slowly yeah he is he's actually stopped he blows his horn and then we can now proceed across the park back to the railway station. Let's watch him go by and we're going to have a look in the field. So as the diesel locomotive runs along into the station, 
we're walking down here now it was quite exciting the field section because what effectively happened it, it sort of did two how can I put this it sort of did two sort of loops like that but kind of very close to each other I might be able to explain that better nice old level crossing gates we followed the railway line into here as I said I have been given permission to do this you come into here it seems you can just see track wherever you look this line here is one of two bits of track that's not part of the ride you travel on so the train would run up there when it gets to the end it turns back comes down here goes around there and then there's a smaller loop and then back out so this this section of the line is if they ever needed to overtake another train or um should a locomotive fail which is unlikely they could potentially put a train down there it's really nice up here and it's uh, quite nice that there's yeah, just me now. There's not even any trains, but I would like to see a train. It's a long straight track. I expect those diesels can open up. What I'll do when I've um, finished this, I'll, I'll do some, we'll do some line siding. So we'll do some around the yard and the station area. We'll also do some line siding up here. Look at this, this is really cool. You've just got three tracks all running next to each other. Quite cool if you can get it. So you've yeah, got trains on all of them. So when, you, when we're on the ride, First we're on that one, then we're on the middle one, then we're on the outer one, but it is effectively on the same track. The other thing I wanted to show you while we're up this end of the site is the other spur, which the passenger trains don't travel on. So often I, I sort of walk up the middle of three tracks all running parallel. To walk past, yeah, so there's past these willow trees here, and um, the, the top loop goes around this little hill here before running down there and then what you see there that's the the second loop that's not such a large loop yeah so here here is the other section of railway line which we don't travel on so from this junction here to that junction there so that would be like another shortcut from this hill we get a bit of a view of some of the rest of the park so it's meant to be where well, it is a park for everyone we can see there's tennis courts over there and over there I think there's a restaurant here and um, we can see this. We're going to have a proper look, but we might just be able to see this from here. There's some ponds. I think this is where, I'm just frightened the birds. Yeah, look, there's a boat out in the pond. So you can bring, I think, or there's a model boat club. They bring their remote control boats here and they film their boats. But we'll, we'll go and have a look at that after we've had a, another look at the railway. I want to do some line siding. So I'm going to wander back to the station and we'll watch some trains.
थैंक यू
Well, I've had a great time here at the Eaton Park Miniature Railway. I think it was one of the diesels off on another trip. Now, before we leave the park, we're just going to have a look at a couple of the other things there are to see here. So, as I mentioned when we were up on that mound, there is a large boating pool. Now, here, here is the boating pool. It looks like there are some boats. I can see some little yachts over there. So what we'll do, we'll just walk around here and we'll see if we can see some of those in action and then we'll go over to the center of the park over there i think there's a restaurant and um, possibly a bandstand so it's one of those places you know you can easily come and spend a day quite a lot to see there's also the vastness of the park if you just fancy yeah. a walk yeah look there's a, a speedboat making a lot of might get wet doing this um that was, wasn't planned for today but look there goes a speedboat speeding around so, I mean, I'm more interested in track, but that does look pretty cool. It's quite nice they've got a long pond like this that they can really, you know, really go quite, quite quickly. Well, that is um, something a bit different. I have, in the past, you know, places I go, you do come across model boating uh, clubs like this, but um, I've always been interested in model trains and miniature railways, but that's pretty cool. Anyway, let's go and have a look at this other part of the park, and then I've got my walk back to Norwich City Centre. I might get a bus, but yeah, it's a nice day, so I'm quite happy to walk. I do enjoy walking. There's another pond down here. This pond looks a bit more, a bit quieter, and it's got, instead of having model boats, it has a few ducks on it. So, I wonder if there's any fish in the pond. I can't 
see any, but it doesn't mean there isn't any. So, as I mentioned earlier, there'd been an narrow gauge railway. It would have been when they built all of this to create, create the landscape. I'm not so sure what kind of traction they'd have used. They may have just pushed the wagons by hand or used horses. So it doesn't necessarily mean there are any locomotives. But it was quite common, you know, to have a contractor's narrow gauge railway, a temporary narrow gauge railway. And there's just been little tub wagons, you know, that you'd have tipped out the spoil. So I can imagine there probably were narrow gauge railways around here, but never meant to be a permanent feature. But it's nice that we have now the miniature railway. That's looking down across the water. And then this is like the main centerpiece of the park. So you've got a restaurant and toilets in there and you've got all of this area here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to come and visit they do run the miniature railway runs most Sundays. The park of course is open all the time. They sometimes run these pop-up trains if they've got enough volunteers they will just come and run the railway so you know do come and visit them if you have a look on their website and facebook page you'll be able to see when they're running so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment and from eaton park in norwich